Does braking make you slower at an indoor karting track? Well today I'm at the Villaggio karting track to find out. In session 1 I'm going to brake as normal at my two usual braking points, but in session 2 I'm not allowed to use the brakes at all. So let's analyse my fastest lap from each session side by side and then we'll find out which one was faster. So as we start the laps heading through the first corner, you can see on the right hand side on the no brake lap, making sure not to press the brakes by keeping my foot completely off the brake pedal. This white patch on the track is our first reference for braking. So on the left hand side, we're going to hit the brakes nice and early, get the cart rotated. Watch on the right hand side on the no brake lap. Because we're able to take the corner flat out, we're carrying more entry speed, so we get to the apex first. But a fast entry means I got a slow exit out of the corner and you can see on the left hand side we're already turning in for our second hairpin turn and by the time we get to the apex point the gap has opened up to about one and a half barriers. And this part of the track is all flat out so we're building up our speed, we're building up our momentum again. So on the no brake lap by getting a poor exit it's compromised our exit speed. We've fallen further behind by the time we got to this right-hander and we're going to fall even further behind by the time we get to this left-hander. On the braking lap on the left-hand side, because I had better exit speed out of that first hairpin turn, I've carried that momentum all the way towards the back end of the lap which is where our second braking point is. I've hit the brakes early, I'm rotating the cart towards my targeted apex point. Look on the right-hand side as I gain time on corner entry because I'm taking this corner flat out. But in return, that's going to compromise my exit speed again, because as we get to our next reference point, which is this barrier on the right hand side, the gap opens up again. And this is only the beginning of my losses on the no brake lap, because this final section is all flat out. And as we come to the final corner, the left hander, you can see the gap has opened up to more than a cart's length. And we're not even at the finish line yet. So as we head towards the finish line, the lap with braking is already finished. And now the lap with no braking comes across the line. My best lap time with braking was 24.667 and my best lap time without braking was 25.132, a half a second difference. There's a couple of reasons why I was so much slower without braking. Firstly, I was carrying too much entry speed into tight corners, such as the first hairpin turn. When you carry too much entry speed, you'll scrub the tires and slide the cart and this causes you to lose all of your momentum and your cart nearly becomes stationary. And this in return destroys your exit speed. Secondly, my steering had to be very aggressive, which required me to do extreme turning. And remember in karting, the more you turn your steering wheel, the slower your go-kart will drive. On the other hand, you can use the brakes to benefit you, just like I did on the braking lap. Firstly, braking helps to slow your cart down quickly and sufficiently to take a corner. And if you press the brakes hard enough, you can actually use them to turn your cart. And that's something I'm going to explain further in tomorrow's video. Now, if you did enjoy today's video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and let us know what your experience is. A lap with braking and a lap without braking. 